Okay. Okay, congratulations, Richard. Great game again today. Uh, how did it go for you personally? Uh, it was a good game for me personally. I uh, played really well, came out here, you know, a lot of intensity for me today. Um, I had a, had a couple of sacks, had a couple of tackles, you know, I was happy about that. So it was a good game, good game all around. Yeah, you had a big sack on second down in the first quarter, uh, in the second quarter, I think, and then you had a, you dived over a guy to make a stop on fourth down, and you had another fourth down stop. Seems like creators are pretty tough up the middle with you in there. Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely, we've been practicing hard up in the middle, especially on the defensive side, you know. Um, I feel like we got, we, got, we got a lot of power, power up front, especially this year, you know. With uh, Yusuke, uh, we 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 doing we're doing pretty well up front. I can't I can't lie about that. You know, DBs are doing good, linebackers are doing well as, as well. So we're, we're pretty good. We're doing we're doing pretty good. With you with your uh, relative size, I guess in Japan you'd be seen as like a run stuffer. You know, kind of Vince Wilfork type. But you know, I mean, obviously that wouldn't have been the case in the states. And you're pretty good at pass rushing. How do you uh, see yourself particularly? Are you a pass rusher or are you a run stuffer? Or? Um, me personally, I'm, I'm quick on my feet. You know, it uh, goes back to my background. I was a running back in high school, so um, I'm got really good feet. So uh, back in the states, I was uh, more of a, I was both, both versatile, both. And, I, and here, here being here, um, I feel like it's uh, it, it, it goes both ways here as well. So I mean, it, it works. It works in my advantage. You know, it works, definitely works in my advantage. So you're running back, you said, when you were in high school. The creators haven't asked you to carry the ball, seeing as that's the only thing they seem to do? So far, joking, joking jokingly. You know, nothing nothing too serious yet, but, you know, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, we do get that. I mean, some teams, like, we'll say, the Asahi, Beer, Asahi Soft Drinks Challengers, they ask their players to play both ways, you know, guys that wouldn't even have experience at it, so it might be something in the future. But uh, have you ever played on a team that runs the ball this much? Um... No, no, no. Um, in, high, in college, we, we were definitely a pass, pass team. Um, and I noticed here, you know, we, our offense will hold the ball, you know, for the majority of the quarters. So, I mean, I, I mean I'm not mad at that. We just give us a lot of defense, a lot of break, you know, a long, a long break. And that, that comes in our advantage whenever we're on the field against the offense, you know. Yeah, I was just going to say, you don't look too out of breath for a guy who just played a game of football. <laughs> Did no, you break a sweat at all? No, I'm actually, I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. I mean, I broke a sweat, a little sweat, but I'm, I'm definitely good. I'm definitely, I can go another game, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you, your, your team there, you know, they possess the ball, they run. You've got quarterbacks, number 14 there is running the ball. You've got all kinds of inside runs, outside runs. But when you have to throw it long, you know, they got three bombs in the second half, you know. So it's, it's kind of, I think Creators could be a team that might surprise people this year, right? Definitely, definitely. We've been working really hard uh, in practice defense, defensively and offensively. We've been challenging each other um, during practices and whatnot. So definitely look, look, look for something in the future, for sure. Well, you're going to be challenging next game anyway. you got National Champions Fujitsu Frontiers here this day next week. Any thoughts on that? Um, nothing yet, you know. We just... Had a good game against these guys today. They played a good game, so we're going to go into practice tomorrow. So we'll, 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 work, we'll work for Fujitsu next week, definitely, definitely. You haven't uh, met or played against any of the Fujitsu players before, have you? No, this will be my first time, my first time. You were with IBM, you were wearing uh, 92, was it? And you were in 36 for the Critters. Any significance to either number? Um, you know, I really wanted 32. That was my, uh, that was my number. I'm, I'm sorry, 34, number in college, you know, so I've been... 36 was close, and I'm and Jerome Bettis. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't knock him. You know, it's a good running back for uh, Pittsburgh Steelers back in the day. So, who knows? Like I said, who knows? I might be in the backfield soon. Who, just, who knows? Why did you want 34? It wasn't Walter Payton, was it? Uh, my dad. My dad wore 34 when it, and he was younger. So, actually, no, he went. He wore 32. He wore 32. I wore 32 in high school. They didn't have it in high school in my college, so I wore 34. And you know, went up to 36 here. So, you know. You're in a very unique position. I mean, it's very rare. I don't know any other case where a foreign player has come to Japan with one team and ended up playing with a different team in the same season. I mean, some guys have switched teams in Japan. And obviously, since it's not a professional league like the NFL, you don't get players caught and moved around as much. How has it been playing for two very different organizations in the same year? Um, it's, it, was, it was different, definitely different. I mean, it was, I'm, I'm blessed to have this opportunity to come back out here uh, for a different team. It didn't work out for I, IBM in the spring. Uh, unfortunately, but you know, I had an opportunity to come out here with Tokyo Gas, and I'm, I'm making the best of it. I'm, I love it out here, so I mean, I'm having a good time. Yeah, obviously, I mean, you didn't get to play some of the early games with IBM, but the games you did play, you know, particularly, I thought you had very strong play. And of course, yeah, I mean, they bring in someone who was in the NFL, you know, it's, it's hard. But it, obviously, even with the strong play at IBM, you wouldn't have been the man because they have, you know, James Brooks, and they got so many playmakers. They're one of the strongest teams. With the creators, 
it's not like that. You're the only foreign player on the team and maybe you're expected to do a lot more or do you feel more pressure or more responsibility to be a playmaker game in, game out? Um, I definitely feel the responsibility. I'm, it's definitely not pressure in my, in my case. Um, um, it was like that in college, for, uh, especially the early parts of my career. And uh, I, I like the pressure, honestly. I like it. I love. I love. I don't like the spotlight so much, but I, I love. I love having that on my that weight on my shoulders. Sometimes, you know. Well, uh, you might not like the spotlight, but the video we did of you, the interview, the last game was probably the most popular video we ever put up. So, uh, <laughs> for a guy who's uh, so soft-spoken and, and doesn't like the spotlight, why are you so popular? I, I got to I got to give that up to the people back home, my friends and family back home. They they were supporting me. 100%. So, uh, shout out to you guys back home. You know, I love you guys. Any of them going to come out and see you play in Japan? Um, I had talked. My dad's going to come out. Come out soon. Hopefully, he comes out here. That'd be a good. That'd be a good opportunity for him to come out here and see me play. Great stuff. Thanks a million for talking to us again. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you sir. <laughs> All right.